why is it that the West hates Russia so much? I mean, it really does. I mean, uh, quite apart from the, the, the Russophobia and the collective persecution of Russian nationals in the West, you have to ask yourself, you know, why is it that Russia causes such hysteria in the West and such hatred, such obvious, visceral hatred? You know, I mean, like, I'm from Chile. I obviously grew up in the United States. I lived through the Cold War. I mean, yeah, I was a teenager during the 80s. And I do not have any kind of antipathy towards Russia. On the contrary, I think that Russia seems beautiful. I've actually never been there. Uh, it seems beautiful from the pictures. Great literature. Great, great literature. Great musicians. Prokofiev, Tchaikovsky. Um, you know, I mean, I have to go back to the literature. You know, Chekhov, you know, Uncle Vanya. What a great play. That is a great goddamn play, man. Um, you know, War and Peace, Brothers Karamazov, uh, Pushkin. I mean... You know, they own literature, man, you know. And so we know for a fact that a lot of the people in power in the West hate Russia because of pogroms and persecutions that happened 117 years ago and earlier. Yeah? So there's that segment. Then there's a segment of insecure neocons, people like John McCain. People like John McCain who fundamentally realize at, at some basic level that the Russians are tougher than them, that the Russians aren't afraid of them. You see, because it's a, it's a peculiar kind of neocon that needs other people to fear America, not just respect America, not just take America into consideration, but fear it because they're fundamentally bullies. And it's a pity that John McCain isn't around right now because it, it would be great to see him throwing hissy fits over Russia because at heart, what's going on is that, see, the bully, like John McCain, he's afraid of the guy who is not afraid of him. That's what's going on. And he hates the guy who is not afraid of him. And so John McCain, who is no longer with us, he's burning in hell, as soon enough Dick Cheney will, you know. And so anyway, John McCain, who is burning in hell, and his, uh, you know, his inheritors, his, his heirs here in the neocon movement in the United States, they hate Russia because Russia is not afraid of them. Russia thinks that they're kind of weak and pathetic because they are, because all bullies are. Because you see, the generation of John McCain and the neocons who are in power now, they didn't earn the power of the United States. They weren't part of the World War II generation and the generations before that. They inherited this American power, this enormous American power that they did nothing to contribute to, but which fell into their lap. And so that's why they are bullies. That's why they are insecure. And they hate the Russians because the Russians don't fear them. And that's the second group. Uh, my friend uh, Andrei Martyanov believes that part of it has to do with a hatred of uh, Russian Christianity. And the fact that Russia is such a Christian nation, perhaps that's true, but that's only a component part. I think that there's another big part, which is that the Russians, though they are very liberal in many regards, they fundamentally look at American liberalism or what liberalism has degenerated into in the United States and Europe with its uh, you know, elevation of pederasts and, and its uh, 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 adoration of catamites and its decadence and degeneracy. The Russians view all of that and don't, don't want any part of it. And it could be an issue of religion, but I do believe it's just a basic commonsensical notion. A common sense that in Russia is born out of the fact that Russia has had very severe ups and downs, the 90s in particular, were a very, very bad time for Russia. And when you go through a really bad uh, time, economically speaking, you're much more realistic, much more commonsensical, much less willing to tolerate craziness, degeneracy, insanity, decadence, like what's going on in the United States. And the Russians don't really put up with that crap because they know it's garbage, it's crap, and they want no part of it. And so there's that going on too. And when you start like looking at the different groups in the United States, the, these different strands that, that have all united in their hatred for Russia, and they're all unified, going in one direction against Russia. It's because all of them are expressing uh, um, 
a reaction to Russia's reaction. Russia wants no part of them. And that drives them a little bit nuts because ultimately it's a mirror. The Russians are holding up a mirror and saying, I want no part of what you are. Look at what you are. I want no part of it. And that ultimately is what's going on in the West because ultimately the people in the West look at themselves in the mirror and they hate themselves. And they hate the people who are showing them that mirror. And that's why they want to destroy Russia. And that's what I think.